Okay, my gear junkies and my backpackers. I'm doing another video. I did one when I went to Mount Humphreys. Um, figured I'd do another one. Just for whatever, anybody who wants any help. I'm not, like I said, I'm not an expert, but I love these videos. They always help me with from other people. So anyway, uh, this is stage one. Um, I laid out everything. Basically, if you're an avid backpacker or a hiker, you're going to have a lot of gear. So you basically have winter gear, summer gear, all sorts of stuff. Obviously, going to have a suit by falls. It's July. Um, it's going to be hotter than balls down there. I don't need winter gear. So the easiest thing to do is first step, which is what I did, is I went through all of my camping gear, all of my backpacking gear, and did process of elimination and took out everything that I wouldn't need. Like, um, I don't need my sleeping bag. I don't need a winter coat. I don't need hand warmers, feet warmers. I don't need micro spikes. I don't need things like that. So I took all that stuff out and left behind just summer stuff. Um, and then what I did, if you notice my really OCD list, which is hilarious, um, I put down a list of stuff that I already have laid out and highlighted the stuff that I don't have packed yet, like clothes and different things like that. And then I made a list of stuff that I have to go buy. So I'm gonna go buy some stuff right now, um, like food, snacks, whatever, anything that I'm missing. So that's the first step. So I'm gonna go do all that stuff. And then once I get all that, I'll pack it all up and I'll do another video and show you guys what I have and talk you through it. All right. Okay, second part of the video. So I got everything laid out, see? Like last time when I was packing for um, Mount Humphreys. This looks like a lot of stuff, but that's because I completely spread it out um, so that I can see what I have and what I don't have to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, and also it's just a bunch of little stuff. So as soon as I pack this up, it's gonna be a lot smaller. So you'll see once I pack it up. But anyway, I was just gonna show you what, I, I watched a couple of videos on what to bring for Havasu by, asked a bunch of people, kinda did some research on the weather. So I have hiking shoes um, because obviously the hike down and the hike up is 10 miles and I don't want, you don't wanna be doing that in sandals. You want really good hiking boots. Um, uh, I've got Tevas, so to walk around the camp in the water, like whatever, it's gonna be hot, and then that way you can be in the water, and, and you know, I was I was thinking about getting water shoes, but I needed Tevas too, so I was like, hopefully these will just kill two birds with one stone. I'm hoping I'm not wrong, so we'll see um, how good they are by the end of the trip. I'll let you know. Um, my day pack, and this is like a little fanny belt uh, pack thing that I got from Karen. Super awesome. I love it because there's going to be times when I'm walking around the falls and I don't have pockets. Um, so it's really nice to have a little belt with a, just it has a little pocket in it that I can put my phone or I can put chopstick or I can put whatever um, if I want to leave my day pack on the side and just have stuff with me. So um, then I have rope to hang my food, a uh, camelback, and I have a dromedary bag underneath because the camelback is not going to be enough water. So there's, I can put a bunch of liters of water in the dromedary bag and um, have double water when I'm hiking up and hiking down so I don't run out. Um, this is a rat sack is what I was told. I just got it today. It's made out of like a wire mesh. Um, I got that because the rodents down in the canyon are kind of a problem and I didn't want to have to carry a bear canister. Um, I did have duct tape with me and I'm going to hang my food, but in case they still were able to like chew into something, I didn't want it to destroy my packs or my food. So this is like a chain mail on it and then you can put it around your pack when you hang your food. So we'll see how, you know, how much that works. Uh, knife, obviously I don't, I didn't want to bring my cookery cause it's too heavy. I'm not going to be chopping wood. You can't have fires, but I'm just going to bring my knife because it's just habit. I like having my knife. Um, and then these are like my little gadgets. I put them in a gadget bag. They're kind of just in cases. I have um, an extra zipper for zipper breaks. I have patches for my bed mat. Um, I have a thermometer, extra flashlight, clips. Um, I have a lock. I, I may put a lock on my tent. I did hear some people say theft isn't a problem. Some people say theft is a problem down there. So I'm just like... It's not really gonna do anything. It's a tent, they can slash it open if they want, but whatever, I'll have a lock, who knows? I might not even use it. Um, and then I have my Leatherman, and I have some pure, uh, uh, puring, purifying drops. There is water down there, drinking water, but in case of an emergency, you know, who knows? Then I have them. Um, little knife, little baby knife, um, easier to carry around. And then this I just got today in my Karen box. Um, it's a little pocket towel, so it's teeny tiny, and I don't know how helpful it'll be or how much I'll need it, but it's. A baby it's tiny so I was like oh, I'll bring it and see what I what, you know what I could use it for um these I also got from Karen I'm gonna promo Karen a lot in this video I'm not even gonna pay to do that I just love Karen I get their box every month and they tend to give me the cool stuff and it's always stuff I really need so I got this last month it's a um, hammock so it's gonna be so hot down there that I'm probably not even gonna sleep in my tent I'm just gonna sleep in the hammock so I have a hammock and my poles cuz I have bad knees so I need the poles um this is a sleeping bag liner. I decided to not bring my sleeping bag because it is gonna be so hot down there. So there's really no point, but the sleeping bag liner kind of increases the temperature, oh, excuse me, by like 20 degrees. So I figure 
you know, just sleep in that. And if it is a little bit chilly at all, at least that'll keep me warm. It's like a sheet. Um, my pillow, my bed mat, in case I do sleep in my tent, and then that way I have something to sleep on. Um, maybe there's no trees. Maybe I won't. We won't be camping near a tree that I can hang my hammock. So just a, kind of a just in case. So I have something. My tent, uh, yoga mat. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to with the amount of people, or if there'll be time. But if I can sneak off and it's early enough, or there isn't too many people by the falls, I was hoping to meditate a little bit, do some yoga. So I'm bringing my yoga mat. Um, I could just do it on the rocks too, but. Whatever. Then I have something to sit on at the camp, too. I just, it's a yoga mat. It doesn't take up much weight, and I can just drop it to the bottom of my pack. Um, okay, this is my, what I call my little bathroom bag. Well, I have baby wipes because you need baby wipes. You definitely need baby wipes, even though you're going to be swimming in the falls and kind of washing off there. Um, it's just nice when you're camping to have baby wipes. They're just useful for everything. But this is my little bathroom bag. Um, it has tissues in it. It has baby wipes. It has hand sanitizer. I learned that from a friend, and it is really useful, especially for female um, or for everybody. But it's nice to just have a little bathroom bag, I guess, basically. Um, okay. This is my stuff that I kind of keep. Sorry, I'm going to move along. It's going to be a little bumpy. This is the stuff I kind of keep in the front of my pack that I can have access to all the time when I'm hiking. Not this stuff over here, but just this little pack. It has um, electrolytes in it um, or tabs. It has chapstick. This is like ibuprofen, antacids, whatever. Um, I have tissues. I have bug repellent, gum. I have sunglasses um, that are nearby. I got these from Karen, too. These are UV protected, so I'm excited about that. <laughs> um, more bug repellent stuff. I heard bugs can be a problem down there, so I'm bringing bug repellent two kinds because the wipes worked okay when I went to Perea with Kathy, but not so great. So I'm going to bring the bottle. Um, but if I don't want to carry the bottle somewhere, then at least I have the wipes. And then, um, I know it seems like overkill, but I don't want to run out when I'm down there. I'm going to be exposed to the sun like all day, every day. So I figured, eh, just bring them with me. So, um, and then I've got ice packs. I know they're kind of heavy. Um, hopefully there's a garbage down there somewhere. And then once I use them, I can throw them away. But I, I'm keeping them for two reasons. One, I have a bad knee. So if I need it to wrap my knee... I'll have it, too, if there's, like, a heat exhaustion situation. Hey, put them under the pits, put them around the neck, something like that, and cool somebody down so that I have them for emergency. Um, capsaicin patch, that's just for, like, aches and pains, whatever. It's super light. It's not going to take up much room. Um, my jet boil to cook food. I've got a mug that's just universal, to, you know, something to drink out of. Uh, this is my first aid fire starter thing. You can't have fires down there, but I just always keep them all together. So it's in one can. It's a multi-tool can. It has first aid stuff in it, fire starter stuff, and you can clip it in your pack or put it inside. Um, I have a towel. Oh, it's a very thin towel. It's a yoga towel. So it's the kind that you would use in hot yoga um, to put on your mat or just after a class or something. Um, so I, sorry, I'm going to come to the other side. So I suggest that so you're not taking up so much room in your pack because I don't have a hyper light towel yet. That's probably the lightest I'm going to get. This is my food. Um, I didn't bring as much food this time because I'm not really summiting a mountain. I'm not really climbing and doing crazy um, physical activity. So I don't feel like I need that much calorie intake as I usually do on big hikes. But it is going to be really hot. So I do want to make sure I'm eating. Um, so I just kind of brought a meal per day and then an extra one or so because we have all day tomorrow before we get out there and then on the way back who knows at least I have access to food um and then what if something punctures a hole in it an animal whatever then I have extra so I just brought one or two extras but I'm really only going to eat one a day this time I'm trying normal food um for lunches I just like I said I love the meals but sometimes they tend to make me feel a little bit full and especially if I'm not working it off um I just wanted something lighter so this looks really heavy um and bulky but you know what as I eat it it's going to be gone and it's going to be light it's avocados and clementines and then I have tuna and I have some wraps um they're going to be eaten you know so that'll be gone by the time I'm hiking out of there that weight's going to be gone um, but I like to put those together. It kind of sounds weird, but it's a good combination. I like putting tuna with avocado and on a wrap and it's good. Um, anyway, and then I have bars in case I need them. I have jerky just as a snack or protein. Um, doesn't take up much space. Again, once you eat it, it's gone. Um, and then I have breakfast. I decided to go again, instead of the meals that you can buy, I decided to do the oatmeal. I had done this when I first started camping and kind of got away from it. And then I realized that it is actually nicer because less bulky bags you can pour the boiling water right in these bags and they're safe and it's fine um and it's just it's 
filling and it's cheap and uh, uh, there's not as many calories as those breakfasts and stuff that you can buy in those meals. So I like that. Instant coffee, huge. So I used to bring these cans of Starbucks coffee and they used to be so heavy and take up so much space in my pack. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Kathy Shea, for showing me instant coffee. You're amazing. I love you. Um, so now I have instant coffee. So much lighter. Each pack when it's gone, it's just garbage and it's gone. I doubt I'm going to need bedtime yoga because, I mean yoga, bedtime tea because I'm going to be exhausted from like kind of just hiking around and doing stuff all day and being in the sun. But I just always keep one or two in there for just who knows. And then I have it. Maybe someone else needs it. Granola mix. Um, okay. So here's the here's the biggie. So electrolytes. Um, I have, oh, I think I showed you the electrolyte tabs up there. But these are also like Propel water flavor things. They have electrolytes in them too. I'm bringing a bunch of those and vitamins, um, emergency C, multiple reasons. Because then that's going to keep me hydrated. It's going to keep me um, leveled out with electrolytes so I don't get dizzy or lightheaded being in the sun and hiking around, especially on the long hikes. Um, but also <laughs> because I have vodka <laughs> and, um, so then that way I can mix vodka and electrolytes and make a little cocktail. So, um, that's nice. And then it's not too much weight. Um, that is a bag of wine right there. Um, so I'm going to bring a little bit of that with me, but at the same time, um, I'm, going to drink some of it before and after the trip, um, kind of our, on our little road trip situation. Um, so, and then let's see. Um, okay. Oh, and these I got from Karen this morning. These are just like little mini sunscreen things. And I figured why not? So I don't run out. I have those big bottles, but I also have these two that are almost gone that I figured I'd use up. And then these little samples, again, just little things I can throw away super light. Um, toiletries, I'm going to put those in a bag. Very minimal. Um, this is a cool camp soap thing that I got from Karen. Um, Anti-blister, anti-chafe. I feel like I have not been able to use any of them yet, and I feel like this is a good trip to try them because anti-chafe, you mean I'm going to be wet, hot, sweaty, hiking around all the time, you know, between the thighs, arms, whatever. Who knows? I might need it. It might come in handy. It might be cool. So anti-blister, same thing, walking around with wet feet, sandals, you know, back and forth, whatever. So if I need it, it's there. Um... Let's try that. Uh, Nalgene bottle. So besides the Camelback, I'm going to bring two Nalgene bottles. There's only one there, but I'm going to bring two just so that if I want to mix electrolyte tabs in my water, I can put them in there and not my Camelback. So then that way it doesn't like permanently flavor my Camelback. Um, so I can keep that just regular water and then just have um, the electrolytes and then Nalgene bottles. Um, did I skip anything up there? No, that's pretty much it for that. And then electronics. So I have this little mini tripod thing and a Bluetooth remote and a selfie stick. I know, kind of corny, but hey, I'm going to one of the most beautiful places in the world, so I'm super excited. Um, maybe not in the world, maybe in the country. I'm not really sure what the phrase would be, but it's going to be a beautiful place. So I want to be able to take some nice pictures. Um, they're light and they're easy and they're just for cell phones. External batteries. Um, I have a waterproof camera because I want to take some cool falls pictures and swimming in the water with friends. But as much as they say the Samsung 7 is um, waterproof, I don't totally believe them. And I don't want to ruin my phone or lose my phone in the bottom of the water where I can't get it. So I figure I'll just take nice pictures from afar with my camera on my phone. And then I'll use the waterproof camera for like underwater pictures and underwater fall pictures and things like that. Uh, book, highly doubt I'm going to need the book, but whatever. We're going to be there for a couple days, so if we're super tired and we're just vegging in the hammock and I just kind of want to zone out, at least I have a book. Um, but again, like I said, I don't even know if I'm going to use it. Clothes. All right, so for clothes, what did I bring? So I have, um, you know, extra underwear, socks, whatever to hike back for the hike back. Um, bandanas. I just kind of always have bandanas. I'm bringing a raincoat because the weather does say it's gonna gonna rain. I'm sure we're gonna appreciate the rain and not even wanna wear a raincoat because it's gonna be so hot that I think it's gonna be just, we're gonna be like staying. Um, okay, so raincoat, yeah. So we're I'm just gonna keep that as a just in case. Cause I mean, who knows? And then what if I get a little bit cold at night or something like that, I have some sort of layer from wind or from anything else, but I didn't bring a coat. I didn't bring anything heavier than that. Cause like I said, it's just gonna be so hot. I think like the lowest it's gonna get is maybe 85 or something. Um, so then I have kind of around camp clothes. Um, I have shorts and a tank top and, um, some long socks in case it is a little bit cooler just to wear to bed, to wear around the camp. Um, so, and then for bikinis, um, and swimwear, I brought a regular bikini or so. And then I also brought, um, it's more of like a sports bra kind of, um, swim top. Oh. 
because I heard from people that the waterfalls and playing in the water, it's so rough that if you wear like a teeny, itty, itty bitty, teeny tiny bikini, a lot of times they just get, they just fall off or get messed up or whatever. So it's almost not worth it. Um, I brought like a little sundress um, because I feel like if it's hot enough, I can just walk around with that on top of like a bikini or whatever and stay cool. I mean, who knows? But then I have it. It's super light. It's very small. So, and then I have shorts um, because also with the bikinis, they were saying that a lot of times if you wear like a little string bikini, it's just going to come right off in the falls and stuff. So I just brought shorts to wear over top of that, if that's the case. Um, obviously hat and scarf for sun guard, you know, um, because we're hiking in the desert and it's sunny and my clothes to hike down to the falls in. So, um, and then I've got some stuff stacks over there and I've got the Ziploc bags, which I'm going to put a lot of this stuff in. So anyway, so that's what I'm bringing. Um, I was debating bringing one of those air loungers. I have one of those things. Um, mine's a Kaiser and you kind of just, you know, you twirl around, fill it with air and you roll it up and kind of get a lounger. I'm going to see once I pack all this up, how much room I have left and wait because I want to save room and wait for water. If I have enough room, um, I'll take it. If I don't, then I'm just going to you know, whatever, sit on a rock and I have my hammock. So that's fine. Um, okay. So that's what I packed for have a soup by falls. Um, hopefully this was helpful and I don't know. We'll see if, if I packed well this time. I'll let you guys know during the trip or after the trip and I'll show you a little video clip after I get this all packed up so you can see it a lot smaller. Okay. Okay. And there is the finished product. Um, everything's packed up, ready to go. Gonna go meet my friends and uh, we're gonna head out and then leave super early in the morning. So I look super <laughs> overstuffed. Um, I think it's gonna get smaller as I eat the food. The majority of what's taking up that pack is the food. I'm still learning how to pack better. Um, I, it's a learning process, you know. I wanna get to the point where I don't have anything hanging on the outside because it's super annoying when I'm walking and it's like clanging against it or something. Um, I just need to get a bigger pack like in terms of the internal part so that I can fit more inside than in the pockets outside. So, you know, whatever learning process, getting better and better, but I have everything ready to go, all ready and packed, and we'll see you at Have a Soup Pay, and I'll make a big video about that and tell you guys how the packing went and if I gave you good advice or bad advice. All right, bye. Okay, so back from Have a Soup Pay. And I told you guys I would go through and let you know what was worth bringing or not worth bringing. Uh, let me just tell you that um, I wanted to bring everything with me that I put in that video and then weighed my pack and realized, holy crap, it's way too heavy. Sorry, just ignore the cat. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, Cleo. <laughs> Um, and just realized it was way too heavy. So um, I'm just going to go through and let you know that some of the things that I took out, one of the big ones was the book. Um, I think it would have been really nice to have a book down there to read, laying in the habit hammocks, but um, there's so much to do down there that honestly, it really wasn't a huge deal. Like I missed it a couple of times where I was like, ah, oh, bummer, but uh, it was fine. But I took out a lot of weight for my pack. Extra fuel, I brought an extra fuel and honestly, like I had more than enough. So um, two of them is not... A huge deal if you have just one small size for a couple of days you're not going to need that much fuel i think my one was half empty and that's why i was kind of thinking like bring an extra one um external batteries so these are really heavy and i always bring a bunch and i'm thinking oh, i'm going to be taking a lot of videos a lot of pictures don't want my cell phone to die blah 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 one of the things i'm definitely going to invest in is a solar panel charger um a couple of my friends had them down there Super amazing, super lightweight, um, and you can just let the sun charge it and then charge your phone. But obviously, I didn't have one, so I did have one external battery, um, and that was used to recharge my phone probably the second day. But I also learned um, how to put my phone on power max saving mode, and so it gives you like three days worth of battery. So as long as you're not using any apps and your Wi Fi is off and it's on that super power saving mode, um, you know, there's no need to bring 500 external batteries, which I get made fun of for by, all the time by my friends, but I just take a lot of pictures. Um, my Leatherman, I brought this and I was going to bring this. Um, it's still really useful. It's just really heavy. So I still vouch for taking it if you're going on a backpacking trip to any campers or backpackers. But fortunately I had a group going with me and I knew like five of them had this one. So I took that out for a wait. Um, sunscreen, I had like two bottles, three bottles of sunscreen because I was afraid of running out. One was fine. was more than enough. Um, we were in the shade a lot and the only time I really needed it was when we were in the sun and in the water. So that took out some weight. Um, ice packs. So I thought it was a good idea to bring the ice pack in case of like heat exhaustion or any issues. You know, you put this on the, um, pulse points, you know, to lower your temperature. 
Plus, I have a bad knee, so I thought it'd be great to ice my knee after the long hike. Then realized that was kind of silly because all the waters down there are not ice cold, but they're cold enough that it was good to soak sore muscles and bring down your core temperature. So don't waste the weight in your pack on ice packs. Uh, didn't need that. And then, oh, what else did I take out? Um, I took out my pillow. I have a camp pillow. It didn't really save me much weight, but it was space, and I you can roll it up to be small, but realize I'm going to be sleeping in my hammock most of the time, don't really need a pillow. So I didn't need a pillow. If you want to bring a pillow, bring a pillow, but I didn't really use it. Um, dromedary bag, uh, I brought this or was going to bring this originally to fill up with extra water, but realized that my camel bag and my two Nalgene bottles were fine. I think I'm used to backpacking and being in areas where you're not very close to a spring or to water. So I'm used to just having that to fill up extra water, carry back to camp. And then I have, you know, access to extra water. But then silly me realized I am around water 24 <laughs> seven down at the falls and at my campsite. So there was no, uh, there was an endless supply of water. So you didn't really need that. Um, let's see my yoga mat, that green one in here. I left that behind as well. I was like, Oh, maybe I'll do some yoga at my campsite or by the falls. Yeah. So you can do yoga on a rock or like on the ground. That was kind of silly. And then I also thought maybe, um, bring it, it, you know, to sit on the ground, lay on the floor, like whatever, but hi, you're camping. You don't really need that. So again, that was silly weight that I shouldn't have, uh, that I didn't need to bring. Again, it was nice that I had a friend's car that I went through my pack before going and was able to, um, kind of de-weight my pack. So I just had a big bag and pulled a bunch of stuff out of it and, um, made that a lot lighter. Um, otherwise I think everything else in the video that I showed you guys, I brought, I decreased some of the clothes. I, I took away like camp clothes. Um, didn't need those. I just wore like a little summer sundress and you're wet all the time being in and out of the water and you're sleeping in a hammock. So you could pretty much just wear one of your outfits and then just like rinse them in the river and wear that again. So there's no need to bring multiple outfits or camp clothes or things like that. Uh, the rope was super important. I highly suggest the rope. Um, the rat sack that I showed you guys, that metal screen, Definitely a big deal. So many people's packs got torn into and ripped up um, and all their food got stolen and bags got destroyed. So I highly suggest using the buckets that they put down there to put your food in or a rat sack, like a metal rat sack. Um, what else did I take out? I mean, some of the food. I had too much food. I took out some of my food. And that was about it. But otherwise, I would say pretty much everything else um, I took down. And my pack was still a little bit heavier than I probably would have wanted, but I'm still learning how to be minimalist. So, if hey, I say if you make really smart decisions of what you think you need and don't need, uh, the environment that you're in and the friends that are going with you and equipment you can share, if you feel you need it or you want it for creature comfort and you can carry it, bring it. Um, but over time, you'll learn what you really need and really don't. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Um, yeah. If you ever go to Havasu by Falls, I hope you have fun. And uh, it's a tough hike. So uh, train your muscles and get a good pack and enjoy. All right. Bye.